Come on, Globers, prove this one wrong. I want to first point out how far Polaris is supposed to be from Earth. It is supposed to be 323 light years away. And if you don't know what a light year is, I put it right here for you. One light year equals six trillion miles. So six trillion times 323. And they tell us we can see light from that. So let's get into the meat and potatoes here, guys. Polaris, it does not move in the sky, okay? It stays in the north, the north sky, it's a north star, it's over the north pole all the time. And that is a fact whether you are a flat earther or a globe earther. It does not move. They say it moves kind of just tiny bit where you can't see it, but it's basically in the same spot all the time. And the mainstream explanation for that is because it is aligned perfectly with the North Pole. And we are spinning this way, so it is aligned so perfect that you cannot see it spin. Which I could understand if you lived right there. So if you lived right there, I could understand that. But what if you live here and you can see it? What if you live anywhere around there? Well, let's look into that. So what I'm about to show you here is three separate experiments where I try to duplicate if you were right here and the earth was spinning, what you would see. And then I did one if you were off to the side and what you would see. And I wanna take you through these. So here's the first one where I tried to duplicate living in the north, in the North Pole. And it looks like it is very still, it is in the same place, correct? Next, I tried to duplicate living on the side of the Earth, like the United States, to see if it would move. And it's clearly moving and not in the same spot, but it's negligible. You can't really tell that much. But to this point, I've only taken into account the Earth's rotation and nothing else. If you thought that this was how we move through our solar system, you'd be wrong. In reality, it looks a lot more like this. The Earth moving around the sun in a corkscrew shape and the rest of the planets are doing the same. How is this possible? Well, for one, our entire solar system rotates around our Milky Way galaxy at an insane 220 kilometers per second. Not only that, our entire solar system plane is tilted forward about 60 degrees in reference to our galaxy's plane. And when you trace out all of that movement, you can see our planets spiraling through space in beautifully organized chaos so let me break this down for you the earth is supposedly moving in four different manners it is rotating at the equator at a thousand miles per hour it is traveling around the sun at 67,000 miles per hour it is traveling through the galaxy at 400,000 miles per hour and it is traveling through the entire universe at 2 million miles per hour and Polaris doesn't move. Well, I added just a second movement to my test. So far, I've just had the test of spinning either in the middle or on the outside. Now I added that second movement of rotating around the sun while it's spinning. So let's see how that looks. So here is only adding in a second movement. We have the rotation and we have the revolving around the sun and Polaris would move unquestionably. So you need to ask yourself this honest question. If the Earth were actually spinning at the equator at 1,000 miles per hour and revolving around the sun at 67,000 miles per hour in a different direction, mind you, and traveling through the solar system at 400,000 miles per hour in a different direction, mind you, and traveling through the universe at 2 million miles per hour in a different direction, mind you, would Polaris always sit right there? Or is it possible that the stars are revolving around us? Ask yourself, are you gonna let yourself use that key now that you have it? Or are you gonna throw it away? Remember now, this is for your entertainment.